Hi, I'm Santosh, OpenShift architect with Red Hat. In this video, I'll demonstrate how we can easily rehost IBM MQ queue manager running on a virtual machine onto OpenShift container platform in a high availability mode. Rehosting MQ queue manager on OpenShift will lead to reduced infrastructure spend, reduced time to market, and increased reliability. All this while taking the advantages of hybrid cloud model. Also, some of the newer features like native HA of MQ on OpenShift will make it appealing to run MQ on OpenShift instead of virtual machines. In this video, I'll cover how we can install MQ on OpenShift using an operator. Using configuration of an existing queue manager running on virtual machine, we'll rehost it onto OpenShift. Then we'll demonstrate native HA, which will pre-configure the queue manager to run in a high availability mode on OpenShift. Using the dump MQ config utility, I extracted the configuration of the queue manager that is running on a virtual machine. This particular page on IBM site will provide the details for extracting the queue manager configuration. I've checked in the queue manager configuration into GitHub. This is the queue manager configuration. In the Docker file, I'm using the MQ image as the base image, and I'm copying the queue manager configuration into the desired location. Alternatively, instead of baking the queue manager configuration into the image, we can even add it as a config map in OpenShift, which I'll show a little later. I have an existing OpenShift cluster. I'll go ahead and create a new project. I'll call it IBM MQ demo. I'll navigate to the project we created earlier. I'll start a new build using Docker build strategy. Installing MQ on OpenShift has been made simpler using operators. I'll navigate to the operator hub and I'll search for MQ. I'll install the latest 1.6 version. I'll install in a specific namespace. The operator is now installed and ready for use. I'll create an instance of the queue manager. I'll call it queue manager. I'll accept the license and select the relevant license information. There are some settings over here which we can configure. I'll select the native HA mode of availability for the queue manager. Native HA is the built-in high availability solution for MQ. This consists of three pod system with quorum to avoid split brain situation. Native HA configuration consists of three Kubernetes pods, each running an instance of queue manager. One of the instance is the active queue manager. The others are the replicas. I'll now select the storage configuration. I'll select the GP2 CSI storage class. I'll select the type of volume to be persistent claim. And I'll select the GP2 CSI storage class for this persistent volume claim. I'll leave the size to be the default 2 GB. As we'll not be using the web server, I'll disable it. Earlier, I suggested we can even add the queue manager configuration as a config map. Out here, there's a provision for adding the queue manager configuration as a config map. We will now navigate to the build which we triggered earlier and take the output of the build and capture the build image. We will add the build image to the queue manager and we'll start the queue manager instance. As you can see, three pods are being created for the queue manager. They're all running now. We'll navigate to a queue manager pod. We can run this particular command to start the MQC for the queue manager. We can check if the queues are present in here. 
they are available. We can check if the specific queue manager configuration which we added in GitHub is present. This is the queue manager we added in GitHub. So I'll test the same. It's present in here. Installing queue manager to run in a high availability mode on virtual machines is quite complex. Within a few quick minutes, we were able to demonstrate how we can easily rehost a queue manager that is running on virtual machines onto OpenShift. And then we were able to configure to run it in a high availability mode within just a few quick minutes. Thank you for watching.